that, that's really what kind of sets us apart from all the other uh, kind of products on the market that uh, monitor or test for air quality is that nobody else is putting a device inside of the airstream of the HVAC system where all of the air in the building is going to be passing through. For sometimes the same price as some of these higher end purifiers, you still get something that will far outclass any high end purifier. Um, if you like kind of just go with that strategy of, of working with that contractor to upgrade the central air filter, and then if you add Haven onto it, it now becomes a smart purifier. Welcome to Rep Talk. Uh, this is Rob Ambrosetti, and our special guest today is Ben Reed, VP of Product with Haven. Welcome, Ben. Thanks, Rob. Good to see you again. Yeah, glad to have you here. Um, full disclosure for our listeners and viewers, though, I, for, for transparency, um, uh, this is the first time I've done this. So my company, KGG Consulting, actually works very closely with Haven in the promotion and sales uh, of their products. So I wanted to put that out there, but I feel very fortunate in the fact that I get to work with a company like Haven because um, uh, even if I didn't have this relationship, I feel so strongly, uh, being an indoor air quality geek, I feel so strongly about what they're doing uh, that I think I, I really want to promote an awareness here to whether you're a homeowner, contractor, distributor in the HVAC field or someone, you know, just generally for their own health reasons and, and concern about what's in their, their breathing air, I would do this anyway. So with that being said, um, Ben, give us a little idea of what, of who Haven is and, and what you, what you guys uh, are doing that's so unique and special here. Yeah, for sure, Rob. And I want to throw that back at you is that we feel super fortunate to work with KGG because we're not from the HVAC industry. Um, we, we, uh, the, the company started off trying to make a wearable monitor. Uh, our, our founder, Kevin Hart, uh, no relation to the, the, the super popular Kevin Hart, um, <laughs> is uh, he started his career as an electrician. And on job sites, uh, he found that there's a lot of hazards that he had no idea of what it could be doing to him when he had to be putting on his PPE. Um, and, you know, because a lot of job site PPE can get a little bit onerous to wear while you're doing other tasks. So um, he wanted to make a monitor and he was audacious enough to th think that he could do it. And uh, we did a couple of years of uh, developments uh, and we found out that making a portable product as a small company, especially a piece of hardware, a piece of connected hardware is really, really hard. And that kind of had us, we had to pivot and we thought about like, okay, we've made some really cool technology. Like we really innovated on the particle sensing. Um, so we like built that from scratch and uh, we, uh, a couple of years, it was about four years ago now that there was a pivot into a real, or there was a realization that was made in that to, to create value, to actually, uh, to affect the um, uh, indoor air quality or air quality around us. We spend most of our time indoors and the um what's what's moving air indoors the chvac mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. and and that uh, has been uh that insight kind of moved us towards creating a device that harnesses the airflow of the hvac system to uh take measurements and so that that's really what kind of sets us apart from all the other uh kind of products on the market that uh, monitor or test for air quality is that nobody else is putting a device inside of the airstream of the HVAC system where all of the air in the building is going to be passing through. And so this has given us some major advantages. One, the first one being that the, um, the product is now solid state, no moving parts. Uh, so it can last for many years without needing uh, maintenance. Uh, a lot of other monitors, especially for particle counting, you either have a pump or a fan that kind of wears out or gets clogged after some time. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've overcome that, uh, that problem. And uh, so our product kind of is meant to match the lifespan of an HVAC system. Um, really, really fascinating. And I always forget that little piece of history about how it started off as a personal monitor and now, and yeah. now it's broadened and, and you've taken that to the whole next level. Because I think being an HVAC guy in all my years in contracting, you know, one of the biggest challenges we have uh, when talking about indoor air quality is you're, you're taking an intangible and invisible and how do you make that tangible and visible to a homeowner? You're talking, you know, because drinking water is easy. You can see when you got dirty water, food, you either smell it or you see it, it just spoiled food. But you talk about our, our air, um, you know, it doesn't get the attention. And again, from a level of awareness, I, I think it's really, really important for people to understand that there is a way to actually see what it is 
that you can't see that's going in and out of your lungs every day. And, and it's like that concept of being able to see what's in the air. Again, we're not the trailblazers there. You have dozens of companies that have made indoor air quality products, some of them for, for professionals, some of mm-hmm. them for homeowners. And like the most common is those desktop monitors that a homeowner can grab, you know, from a, a box retailer or something like that for a couple hundred bucks. Um, but one of the other things that we focused on is the, is understanding that most air quality problems can't be solved by the homeowner alone. You need to have a professional involved in the process uh, to uh, deeply understand the context of the home, like, and the training that you get in the, as an HVAC tech allows you to see things that the homeowner can't, allows you to mm-hmm. know, kind of, you know, like, understand a little bit about psychrometrics, like to understand mm-hmm. a little bit mm-hmm. about, you know, how an HVAC system is supposed to move the air, what you have to do to make sure that it's working optimally, how to make sure you're using the right filter. Um, Cause you need to take some measurements and you need to know what those measurements mean. And, and yeah, that's what all, we've done is we've yeah. taken the data and we've provided it to both the professional and the homeowner at the same time. And that's, that's why this is a, this is not in the same category as those mm-hmm. uh, desktop monitors is it's a bridge. It's a relationship building bridge between the homeowners and the professionals. That's what we were trying to build. And you don't get that in the big box stores either. So <laughs> um, and you bring up a really good point. And I, I would say going back to that point, you know, the thing you can get off the shelf in the big box store, A, I am almost, and I'll ask you that, you know, the quality of sensor you're getting is probably not nearly as what you could put in, you know, with, through Haven Haven's product, but also, you know, these are room only type situations and, and constantly in our training with our, with our contractors and di- distributors is you guys, you know, you have whole home solutions and this and Haven's products are whole home solutions and it ties and blends very well together. So I think like knee jerk reaction, like you're saying a homeowner, yeah, I can go out and grab a monitor and throw it on my desk. Well, guess what? That's just your office or wherever you put that thing. And, oh, well, maybe let me solve this. And again, a homeowner's response might be, I'll go out and buy a room only HEPA filter, right? It just solves, you solve a little piece of the problem, not the whole problem. And yeah. to your point, I love what you just said. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's about relationships. Uh, most folks I think do have their own heating and energy contractors. And I love that, 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 that product enhances, because I was going to ask you, you know, why would a contractor want to sell this? Mm. Why, why would a, and I think, you can go ahead and regurgitate that if you want, but I, I think the answer wouldn't normally come out. It's a relationship builder. That's not a normal answer. It's, it's turning customers into clients. It's, it's focusing on the long game. The instead, like, cause so many HVAC companies are kind of, they, it's almost like an accepted norm to just be like, okay, well, I got my business. I, I have customers asking to, for me to come out and fix something because something just broke. Um, or maybe I've, you know, gotten myself really comfortable working with home builders. And so I just have a nice big, you know, depending on your business model, a lot of HVAC companies figure out what works for them. Um, but, uh, the kind of the, the reactive, uh, model Mm -hmm. of just waiting for business to come to you, or if you don't have enough business to go out and trying to buy leads, like that's, that's a, like it's, it's, it can be really difficult. And so what we see is that this is. This is a way that if a contractor or if if an HVAC company deploys this type of product as a part of their business strategy, it's about trying to plant the seeds and like cultivate this relationship that will yield a harvest like over the course of years where you are always getting new opportunities to be able to serve these clients with uh, products and services that they might need, which you discover through the data. And so mm-hmm. that data being that it's available to the homeowner and the professional, the homeowner gets those reminders of being like, Hey, something's going on in your home. Uh, you need some, like we, we provide those insights. We provide those notifications to the homeowner inside of an app. Uh, but then the professional gets to see the data through a web portal and they're able to like examine and have those conversations and even generate reports to say that, Hey, this, this thing that's happening in your home, your humidity levels have been like crazy high for the last month. Um, that's going to do this, 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 and this, because like, and they, you can just add all your sources and just being like, it's kind of a no brainer that like, this is bad for you and bad for your home. It's going to actually cause damage to your health and to your home structure. And so Mm -hmm. let's talk about this because we both have access to this data Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'll, you know, depending on what type of equipment and, uh, you know, climate zone, the, the, it is the, you know, the contractor would be responsible for determining what type of solution is there. 
And then that's kind of where our new product comes in is on the control side. Um, yeah. Because a lot of these devices, like a lot of the equipment inside of a home, a lot of the HVAC equipment that's added, you have UV lights, you have, uh, uh, you know, ERVs or HRVs, you have um, dehumidifiers, humidifiers, all of them, unless you go mm -hmm. with like a really high end communicating system that is like properly kind of curated, uh, you, these things are all disparate and they don't work together. Um, and mm -hmm. on top of that, they don't, you don't quite have all of the metrics to control indoor air quality that you do with the Haven monitor. And so we're introducing our new product, the Haven controller, which is, uh, it's a very simple device. It's literally two dry contact relays inside of this package that has a wireless uh, connection inside of it, um, that you can now modularly connect to ventilation, filtration, or humidity control equipment. Yeah, so I wanted to, oh, actually, I'm glad you, you, it's a good segue into the product because I do, as if, if it, it's just, as if we're a uh, homeowner's listening right now, give a, give a brief snapshot, a non-technical snapshot of the products that you're talking about where, that are working in conjunction right here. This is all started with the air monitor. Just talk a little bit about yeah. that, what it's actually doing, and then how it's, tra how it's transgressed or, or developed into the actual controller um, and what's actually being done with their house and what they can observe. Great. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's go on a journey here. Yeah. So, I love it. I love it. <laughs> indoor, indoor air quality is uh, what, Rob, what are the three pillars? Oh, we have uh, fresh air, right? Are we talking about solutions or you, you tell me, cause I, I know your solutions. three pillars are probably, yeah. Solutions is definite. <laughs> yeah. So you got fresh air, right? Ventilation. Ventilation. Yeah. Be, yep. Filtration is going to be in yep. there. And for then particles. for particles. And then uh, what do we want to do? Uh, fresh air filtration. And I would always say purification, but that's kind of a, another, uh, your third pillar is probably a little different than my third pillar. <laughs> Humidity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How could I forget? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's when we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, I've talked about you... humidity before. And for anybody out there listening, we have a whole episode on humidity. So shame on me. Yes. Humidity. It's all good. It, and it is like, again, depending on the manufacturer, you're going to have like some manufacturers have three pillars. Some of them have six pillars. Um, but let, let's talk about the symbolism of why pillars. Pillars are kind of like the, this concept in our, in our language that we use to represent, you know, like these are really important things that are needed to, um, you know, work kind of all together, where if you take away a pillar, then the structure, the, the, the concept or, or the solution, whatever it is, it's not as complete, it's not as uh, robust, and it could, you know, fall down or fall over or something like that. And so when, so these three pillars or four pillars um, or six pillars, uh, the reason why we talk about them is, is that air quality, indoor air quality, it is a, there are particles in the air, there are chemicals in the air, and then there's levels of humidity um, kind of throughout the air in your home that uh, they all are changing throughout the day all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, like little spikes in chemicals and particles, we actually have a saying in, in uh, Haven where there's like acute events and there's chronic events where like if you have, if you're cooking, you, you have a spike in, in, in your particles or chemicals inside of your home that might last only a couple of minutes or might last a couple of hours. And if it lasts a couple of minutes, we call that a, an acute event. If, we, if it lasts a couple of hours or, or longer, that's a chronic event. And for a lot of homeowners, like when you have an air quality monitor, you, you, you get it, you put it on your desk and it'll like, if there's a spike in the uh, humidity or um, a spike in the chemicals or particles, it'll say, hey, there's a problem. And then you ideally should be doing something about it. And that is totally like, that's totally fine. That works for some people. But for us, we kind of, <laughs> that was never, ever enough for us. We, we kind of have said that, hey, we want to go beyond, uh, you know, just solving it with a desktop monitor. And we wanted to go beyond comfort. That's our new mm -hmm. tagline here is, is to be able to look at, you know, what you have in your home. And for, for the homeowners that are listening, you might not realize, but the, the HVAC system in your home is one of your biggest investments uh, outside of the structure of the home itself. The HVAC system is literally like the circulation system that keeps your home uh, in, you know, in good condition, and it contributes massively to your health. If your HVAC system is not properly maintained, that is where a lot of chronic health conditions come from is, is because of a, a home that has stagnant air that maybe has 
mold issues or chronic uh, chemical issues, like that causes a lot of problems. There's a lot of new science that's coming out of it. Right. So HVAC, it's funny. So in our training with contractors too, we always harp in on that. Like, listen, this the system that you had just installed for the homeowner, it, 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 again, it's 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 an expensive system. It's supposed to be reliable, and you know what? It needs to be taken care of. So yes, um, you don't want that system become to become a source of any problem, whether it's microbes growing on the coil or whatever it is, right? But it's totally possible for the system to become a source of an issue. At the same time, it's also important to know that that's that same system can actually be a part of the solution correct i mean it's yes. part of the solution it's not so much the lungs of your home but it's just it's it's you know it, it's a, it's it's your pulmonary so it's part of the overall you know physiology of the house um and i wanted to, i want to actually two real examples i want to give you here because i love telling these stories uh, about you know I, so i've been using the haven air monitor now for about a year and I'll tell you what it's done to highlight what you're saying and uh, this whole mm. invisible thing because not everybody realizes how much, like you're saying, the air changes constantly throughout the day, right? Early, early on, I noticed from a particle standpoint that anytime the vacuum would go on, particles would spike. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. well, that's a habit, right? And now I know, well, what do I do? You get a HEPA, get a vacuum with a HEPA filter in it. Yes, that helps, right? Or increase the filter, turn the blower on the air, HVAC system with a better filter in it, and, and you know, you'll know, you help knock those down. So A, awareness, by vacuuming, you're doing this. Um, hairspray. Uh, hairspray going off in the bathroom, you know, <laughs> hundred feet away, hairspray makes its way through the house. It's a VOC. Mm -hmm. Even a more common problem that I noticed personally is I ordered a set of wood blinds into the house. I didn't install them right away, but they sat in the box, in the box, in my hallway, in one of my main hallways, just there till I could get to them. I started noticing spikes in my VOCs for like, it was about a month. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Well, I finally took the, just as an experiment, I took the blinds back outside and you know what? The levels went back. To, those blinds were off-gassing, but you know what? I wouldn't have noticed otherwise, other than maybe getting headaches or, or something irritating in my head was going on, which it was. And um, that helped I, you know, make that invisible or that intangible very visible. So there are, there are issues. Mm -hmm. So if, if someone out there is getting you know, some sort of reaction or symptoms and it wasn't all the way, all the time like that, you know, there's something's going on in there and there is a way. And that's why I'm so happy you're here. We can talk about ways to identify this. So anyway, sorry to get you off your journey. Your no, candy, great I stories. Tell two stories that I always like to share um, that now, now it gives you something to react upon. Right. So what did I do in the windows? So yeah, before, you know, there are times when I'll just air the air the house out, open the windows. I forget the German word. The Germans do it all the time. There's a, there's a word for it in German hmm. where they open up their windows even in the dead of winter, which I do too, and just let fresh air in because I don't have an ERV or an HRV, which is ultimately what I would be suggesting to a lot of people. Um, but you know, now you have the now that you identified what's going on, the, what's the next step, right? So that's what the air monitor was all about, right? Identifying. And let's let's loop it back a little bit. Yeah, go to ahead. The, go ahead. To the three pillars, and then also just to clarify that, like VOCs are just they're volatile organic chemical uh, uh, comp chemicals compounds. Compounds. Oh, yep. Compounds, compounds which yep. are just it's a variety of chemicals that are floating throughout the air that um, with with our sensor and with a lot of air quality sensors, it's like you're just measuring you know that there is one of those compounds present mm -hmm. and uh at different concentrations there they can different chemicals can have much different effects on the body and so voc sensors aren't supposed to tell you exactly how much formaldehyde you have in the air unless you get a really expensive one um, which is way beyond the you know the actual <laughs> economics of most mm -hmm. homeowners or professionals um, but in general um, this kind of relates back to one of those pillars which is the uh, uh, ventilation where if there are chemicals in the air, um, the majority of time, uh, the general science has said that, that those are not good for the human body to be exposed to. And so what do you do? The, the tried and true way is ventilation. Um, is so to like, do the wind, do the German thing, but um, with an HVAC system, you can actually have an engineered solution where you're bringing in outdoor air in such a way so that if it's super humid outside, you're not just humidifying your entire house in the middle of winter when, when you don't want to be. And so that's kind of a, this goes back to why homeowners need professionals to be able to work with is that the, a lot of these solutions um, like you have going back to that investment of that, there's this HVAC system that you've spent tens of thousands of dollars on uh, and you're also maintaining it for your comfort 
just add a couple of upgrades, like, like, you know, start examining opportunities to be like, okay, well, do I need better filtration, uh, Mm -hmm. humidity control or ventilation? And then I can talk to my professional about that. And that's also where our controller comes in is that it works in tandem with the monitor. So the monitor is installed by a professional inside of the ductwork. It's monitoring the airflow uh, and it's monitoring the, the chemicals, particles, temperature, humidity, uh, and it's pumping all the data up to the cloud. We're examining it. We're doing some processing. We are making the data available to the professional and the homeowner. And then we're also introducing this new modular product, which is the controller, which, like I said, it has those relays, which then you can connect to these pieces of equipment. So if you have that, when you get that AHRV or ERV installed, then you can connect it to the controller and the setup process, it's about five or 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it allows the readings from the monitor to be able to take charge of that equipment that you have throughout your home that is designed to be able to take care of those pillars that um, are all needed to uh, create optimal um, IAQ and optimal health in your home. So if an HRV or ERV is installed in a home and it's just running on like a, you know, whatever setup normal speed it is, you could theoretically, you get a spike in VOCs, you could arrange it through the controller to make, turn that fan to higher speed yep. on the, on the ventilator, right? To start. That's one of the presets more that we have. Exactly. Okay. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So we have a couple of templates for those to basically take, to address those, those pillars. And uh, that's, that's a pretty common one that, that our betas have been using is mm-hmm. to be able to either have a makeup air unit or an HRV or ERV. And either some people, they have those kind of going on a low rate um, and then they just attach the controller to the boost mode. Um, but uh, it, it, we kind of leave that up to the pro to make some of those decisions on how they'll exactly configure it because every home is different um, and even the equipment has different sort of capabilities. So, um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the that's now how we're completing this ecosystem is instead of it just being like monitoring by itself is not enough, whether it's like on your desk or, or whatever. Cause like you have a couple of changes that you've talked about as being like, Oh, I didn't realize that, you know, mm-hmm. bringing in this building materials into my home was causing these problems. Like that, uh, that's great. But then now there's, there's all this overhead of you having to manage the air quality yourself. And so when like there's, we kind of, Yes, we encourage people to modify their behaviors to make sure that they're not creating a, a, a unnecessary sources of indoor air pollution. That's like that, that's a really good idea. But um, it you will have a much bigger impact on your health if you you kind of do some of those things, but you also have your air quality taken care of um, automatically through this automated system. So this is it's like this is the. Haven is the thermostat for your air quality is, is what this That's is. That's a really good way of putting it. I love it. That's a really good way of putting it. Um, so in your, in your, in your control schemes, um, uh, you could control theoretically humidification, correct? If yes. you wanted to, because you're monitoring. High humidity. and low. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Brilliant. Actually, I have full disclosure here too. I actually use the Haven in my house. To, it's a really, really great uh, hygrometer, right? Or humidistat. You could actually get an excellent uh, humidity reading because there's a lot of, uh, hygrometers you can get off the shelf that are just cheap and garbage and you just don't know what the swings in them are, are terrible. But the, the Haven, uh, the air monitors version is excellent. And I always use that as a backup uh, to what I'm seeing on my thermostat and, and controlling because I have, I have steam humidification in my house. Um, for particles, uh, Ben, um, the Haven, correct me if I'm wrong, can also indicate, uh, you know, I think one of the biggest, uh, one of the largest calls we see as HVAC contractors are you know, the dirty filter can cause a plugged filter can cause so many mechanical problems and, and also obviously uh, IAQ problems, but the Haven can address uh, a dirty filter too, correct? Or, or at least notify when the... Yeah. Yeah. So the, that's, that's another way that we've designed the product is uh, we, we encourage professionals to install the monitor before the filter. Mm-hmm. Um, because we're, we're counting the particles as they fly past and we approximately know the airflow. And so we're able to kind of uh, do a little bit of extrapolation around the filter lifetime. Um, so that's a great little feature that uh, it helps you understand when you should be changing out your filter. And uh, it's, it's pretty basic right now. We're hoping to do a whole bunch of improvements over the course of the next uh, you know year or so um, to know that for very specific types of filters, how to be a little bit more precise. 
Um, but that's a, yeah, that's a big, uh, sort of handy tool that both for professionals and homeowners, instead of you just following a, uh, like a, a preset schedule for a lot of filters, um, like your filter change schedule should be dependent on the particles that are being collected on, uh, because like the actual lifespan isn't, it doesn't have a, like a time or decay where it right. just starts falling apart after three months. No, it's, right. it's how, how many particles has actually been collected by the filter and mm -hmm. that's when it should be changed. And so that, that's another innovation that we've been able to implement uh, because of the technology that we have in the ductwork. Excellent. Now that's great. Um, so how is, so let's say a contractor installs for a homeowner, the, the, uh, the controller and the air monitor, uh, what does, and, and by the way, how long does that uh, process usually take? If seeing from what you're seeing, all, all the contractors that have installed these all over the place, like what's the average? So what, what, what's the expectation of installation time? Would you say average? Yeah. From unboxing, uh, to, you know, having it provisioned to the cloud and having the, mm -hmm. the homeowner to have access to the data for just the monitor, it's usually half an hour. Oh, um, great. adding the controller onto that. So it's probably like another about 20 minutes or so because it's for the controller, it's even simpler. It's just a, a couple, <laughs> you just stick in a couple pairs of wires mm -hmm. and then you use the same process with the app to provision it. So like all told under an hour. So in, within an hour, I can have this, the, the, the ecosystem, if you will, up and operating, uh, and even some time in there to show, go over the app with the homeowner. Cause there's an app associated with the, with the system, yes. correct? So the homeowner, you want to talk a little bit about that, uh, sure. what, what people can expect? Sure. So, well, the app is used both by the homeowner and the pro so that it's really simple for the, because again, we're talking to the pros here. Um, we have a personal use program, uh, where, uh, <laughs> we know that your, uh, reputation relies on the products that you sell. And so we, you can uh, kind of test out our product through a personal use program and then prove to yourself, like, you know, do what we call some party tricks to be able to prove that, you know, the behaviors in your home are picked up by the monitor and uh, to prove that the controller is actually taking action to, to fix your air, air quality. And then that is your best tool to be able to bring to your clients, to be able to say that, hey, guess what? I have this thing for you that uh, let, let me show you my app. Let me show you what this looks like for me living with Haven. And uh, so that's why the, the homeowner or the app is combined so that the, the pro can do the installation with the app. And they're also able to show um, the homeowner their own home or home of their colleague or something like that to be able to prove the value of it. So when the homeowner experiences the app, um, right now we have been focusing on, or before, up until now, we've been focusing on providing data, like, you know, there's really high quality data to the homeowner. So that's like the notifications of when you've crossed a certain unhealthy threshold of looking at uh, the um, chemical levels, the particle levels, humidity and temperature levels, um, and being able to have that insight into what your system is doing for runtime, as well as the, um, uh, the uh, filter lifetime as well. Um, but in just under a month or so, we're going to be flipping the script and the homeowner experience is going to be very different. So stay tuned oh, wow. for that. Wow. But, Teaser. but we're moving, right. yeah, we're moving away from like, cause like, ho like oh, homeowners don't care about PPBs or micrograms per cubic meter. <laughs> like that's, that's, it's like, you got a lot of like yeah. IQ nerds yeah. like us. We, yeah. that's like, we, we understand that we understand the thresholds. We understand kind of some of the health impacts because we live it, but for homeowners, we're going to be kind of moving more towards a score where all the data is still there. And so for the nerds, you can still dive down and get the data. We're going to have a lot more historical data built in that, you, that the, um, that you can see inside of the app, but, uh, we're going to kind of focus on making it a little bit more relatable, um, so that, uh, the, the homeowners aren't, uh, I guess, confronted with, you know, this, this technical knowledge up front that they need to, you know, uh, absorb and to learn how mm -hmm. to interpret, mm -hmm. Um, you know, those, uh, those metrics that are kind of the, they're the raw metrics from sure. the devices, but it doesn't actually tell them too much about how well they're doing for their air quality, um, and, and what's being done to improve it with a controller. So that's, that's coming in a very, uh, recent update. So we're going to get the science speak out of this and make it a little more, uh, you know, we're going to not talk about flux capacitors anymore. We're going to make it real simple. Yeah. For the homeowner. We're going to layer it. We're going to, we're going to okay. keep the science there it. for I the nerds, um, okay, but uh, we're going to make it. sure that the homeowners, uh, they Even get better. something a little bit easier to use uh, from the, from the get go. Even better. Um, 
what I uh, have, have come to experience and I'll share, I'll let you share, but you really have done a great job with training videos. So the installation we were talking about that hour or less than an hour, uh, you have, uh, I've seen um, uh, some of the videos you've made yourself personally, and they're, they're excellent, uh, really step-by-step -step videos. Um, what would be the next step for a contractor? Okay. You got a personal use uh, program for a contractor if, if they want one and try it out and say they get, they go as far as, okay, I love this thing. What do I do now? Uh, you have a, a pro network, so to speak, right? Can you explain to the contractors out there what, or Haven Pro? Yeah. The, yeah. So we have a, I guess what we've tried to do is like to have like a Haven Pro certification where being a small manufacturer though, and we don't really have too many benefits that our Haven Pro certification really provides yet. So we're going to kind of uh, keep that on the back burner for a while. But uh, like we do, like you said, we have lots of training information. We have uh, our community, which if you go to like forum.havenIQ.com, it's, it's this place for both pros and for homeowners to be able to, um, you know, talk about Haven products. Um, there is this private section for pros so that they, you can have private conversations without um, uh, homeowners being involved in those. But if the homeowners want to ask you a question, there's another section of the forum specifically for homeowner pro interactions. Okay. Yep. Yep. And we've even kind of embedded our, um, uh, like our beta community. So um, like you're one of our beta testers and uh, we've had, we have some other beta testers where inside of the forum, we do all of our beta exercises where we have special projects for them to work on special pieces of hardware, special software. Um, so that, that forum is kind of the great place for people to go to have those discussions. But like when, as you're talking about for, you know, can, like on a more uh, larger scale for selling like the products and stuff is like what, what, well, uh... there's, there's tools and resources for contractors, correct? Oh, I mean, yeah. to, to, yeah. and, and I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you, I think you have even contractors going as far as um, taking the next step and using these in their maintenance programs, I believe. Is that, is that yes, right? That's okay. absolutely what we recommend. So every, a lot of, again, a lot of HVAC businesses have their own flavors of how they do maintenance programs, mm -hmm. but we have uh, playbooks um, on, and even like yourself, you do, you do training with contractors to help them understand how to integrate uh, Haven into their business strategy to create that type of long-term value. And um, Haven is perfect for what we call smart maintenance contracts, uh, where you're no longer just kind of like having the customer, like uh, maintenance contracts are um, like great ideas for, for ensuring that you have those, uh, like that, bus that business that transcends Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, the different seasons. So in, in, in climate or not in climate, sorry, in shoulder seasons, you still have a lot of opportunities that you can go after. This takes it to the next level where the opportunities, where if you in were to integrate this into a, like a smart maintenance contract, and that's actually something that we really encourage pros to do with this product is not to think of this as a piece of hardware that they are selling, uh, and just making a 50% uh, or like whatever, whatever it is that they, that they want to do to be able to sell the hardware to, to, to homeowners. It's uh, like, A, first off, it is only available to pros. Um, so it, it, it's this, and then pros can deliver it to the customer however they want. But let's say if you have uh, like, like whether you're using Service Titan or something else to be able to deal with reoccurring revenue, integrate this into some sort of a reoccurring revenue opportunity where it's not just about like saying that, Hey, I'll show up every so often and I'll, you'll get some discounts on service, expand that, maybe add another layer to your, like add this option for a smart maintenance contract where it's like, I'll, I'll do those things. Plus we'll have this professionally installed, professionally monitored platform that is automating your air and it also lets me know remotely if there's anything that needs to have action. So then it makes sure that when we solve the problems for you, um, it, there's a lot of transparency and trust that I'm mm -hmm. solving the right problems. And for the contractor, it's, it's now all these new touch points because you have these, these data points that every season you have a transition as to how the home <clears throat> is reacting and behaving in that particular season. And, and so they can now uh, throughout the year have uh, as, as many uh, opportunities as Haven can provide, which every year there's at least one to be able yeah. to say that, hey, look, big problem here. Um, and now let's talk about this ventilation strategy yep. because this is going to be impacting your health and here's the proof. 
And yep. so yep. delivering the product, instead of saying, Hey, I'm going to sell it to you for, you know, however much I'm going to sell it to you, yep. like maybe sell it as like yeah. a, a subscription where like you lock yep. them in for like a two or three year thing yeah. with this smart maintenance contract. Yeah. Yep. That's what we recommend. Yeah. I mean, think about it. So like half the market are still in the, in the, in HVC world is still a one inch air filter. Right. And you could be a contractor trying to develop that trust here. Let's do this. You keep your one inch. I know you have allergies or, or whatever you told me was going on, but let's just, let's let this run. And you can actually now back up what you're saying with your suggestion of going to like a media air filter, or let's let the data, let's just let your house speak for itself. Basically is what we're saying, right? Let's let it speak for itself. And then I'm here as the expert. When you need it, when we need to talk, we'll come up. I'm here for you. And I'm going to come back and talk. And that's talk about building that's actually, rapport, right? Perfect. In a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I love that you kind of went in, use that as an example, because for professionals that they don't, they want to kind of figure out where to start. That's the best place to start is on that uh, filtration opportunity. Because mm -hmm. like, you know, certain um, areas of North America, uh, you know, there's like each of those pillars have a varying degree of importance depending on where you are, depending on which climate zone you're in. And with uh, filtration though, that's, that's kind of universal where mm -hmm. there's always particles coming from somewhere. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, like here in the uh, marine climate zone, like on the ventilation side, like our, our our homes or this, this climate zone is so temperate out here in Vancouver, Canada, that uh, we, we actually keep our windows open most of the time because there isn't really winter here in Vancouver. There's, there's like, we sometimes get snow once in a while, but it's always hovering around this comfortable <laughs> set point where the HVAC systems aren't even on like 80% of the year. Yeah. Um, so windows open is very normal out here, but going back to the filtration idea is this is how to kind of connect with homeowners on like that you're proposal of saying that, Hey, let's install this. Let's learn. That's a really good start. Yep. But now you had talked about purifiers and like room purifiers earlier on. And, uh, that's a really good paradigm that I think this is like one of those bridge building opportunities mm -hmm. that in room purifiers, they sell like hotcakes, especially now with forest fires, but people don't understand that this HVAC system can be the best purifier that money could ever buy. Um, is that if they just were to invest in this upgrade, um, and like, like that one inch thing that you were talking about, the mm -hmm. one inch filter, that's pretty typical. That's not that great. It's not the best solution right. for right. capturing filters right. yep. or not oh, sorry, particles. Yeah. And yeah. so upgrading to a new, like, you know, a deeper, um, kind of a filter is a great start, but it's like, that's how you connect to the homeowner and saying that, Hey, I see that you have a room pur purifier here, or you're thinking about buying a room purifier it's like make the comparison to say that like, even if you invest in a, like a thousand dollar, um, you know, air purifier, that's just for one room, one room. Right. And it's also probably not going to have anywhere near the clean air delivery rate performance as your central air system could, because the central air system is this robust fan that is literally engineered to move air throughout your entire home. Um, and it was built ahead of time. It was designed ahead of time to do exactly that. Whereas a purifier, it's a band-aid solution to be, or mm -hmm. like, and it also could be mm -hmm. a hyper-local solution that if somebody's really sensitive and you only need that one room cleaned, it makes sense. Yeah. But for the whole home, for sometimes the same price as some of these higher-end purifiers, you still get something that will far outclass any high-end purifier um, if you like, kind of just go with that strategy of of working with that contractor to upgrade the central air filter. And then if you add Haven onto it and now becomes a smart purifier that yep. balances uh, energy use because like the HVAC system can have a higher energy use than just a room purifier. But with Haven, you balance the energy use and the clean air kind of together because of the way of how the controller kind of and the monitor work in tandem to only react and to only activate things when they need to be activated. You know, I love this because honestly, you know, when homeowners are asking contractors for their opinion, that's exactly what it is. It's an opinion or, or a contractor might proactively suggest something that, you know, uh, I think you do need a humidifier based on this, this, but the data, now we're talking data, right? And I always, I love the, Proof. I love the expression with, with, without data, we are just another opinion, right? I mean, really? Mm. So mm -hmm. now, um, you know, it, it, let, I like how you said it, let's learn together. Let's install this. Let's see what's actually going on. And then we can, we can based based on the findings and the data, we can, we can come up with a, with a, a really nice solution, which might mean several things, but at least we'll learn together. Now, you know, and it gives a contractor a, a way to show his expert, his or her expertise on the matter. And they're always there. Right. Um, I want to play devil's advocate a little bit here. Absolutely. 
because I'm sure that you've had this come across, but if I'm a contractor that's a little on the edge about this idea of installing something that might, I might get called constantly out on, right? Or I might get these notifications all the time. Like I don't, nuisance. I, as, as a contractor, I don't want to be, I don't have the time to be bothered constantly when, the, when their VOC spike or their particle spike. What, what, what do we say to the contractor that's kind of thinking that? That's a great question. Yeah, the nuisance is the is the word that we hear over and over yeah. again. And that like some of the partners that we work with and the contractors, you're absolutely right that they're they're worried about that because their business is to be able to be boots on the ground fixing problems. And if they're having to be a call center for, uh, you know, uh, ang- anxious customers that are just being like, oh no, am I going to die because of this spike? It's it wouldn't be good. And so that's where we've spent a lot of time on our user experience to try to, um, and even with this new experience that we're creating is we're pushing our, the homeowner audience to first talk to us, first talk to Team Haven, because we do have um, uh, kind of, you know, some of the expertise in-house and uh, like, if you go to the forum, they'll, you'll be able to ask questions and we'll be able to answer those questions for you, for the homeowners. But uh, in the whole experience, we, tr- we try to first, um, I, I guess, uh, uh, move the homeowners towards t- talking to us about those things that could be nuisance. And if there's an opportunity, if there is, a, if there is that sort of, um, if it looks pretty clear that this homeowner now needs a, you know, a, you know, an onsite consult, or if they need equipment to be able to solve their problem, uh, then that's when we transfer that uh, opportunity through to that contractor that is pretty much the custodian or, or like the manager of that mm-hmm. home's air quality. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, we try to do that ourselves. And we also are kind of implementing um, what we call managed services um, so that we have a couple of people on staff here that can work with contractors that if it's because a lot of, a lot of uh, HVAC techs, you don't get trained on how to solve air quality problems. You get trained on how to solve HVAC problems. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, so for us, we, we know that we have HVAC techs asking us all the time. It's being like, I don't know how to solve this problem. And we're just like, great, let, let's work with you. We'll make ourselves available to help you do that. Um, and so as, as a small company, it's uh, probably, as we grow, we'll probably spend some, some time to automate some of that, to make all that stuff really accessible for, for contractors. But for now, if you're getting started with Haven, then we're here for you. We're here for your homeowners and we're here for you as a professional to, to, to help you figure out how to do this without having to um, spend time on nuisance calls. That is a brilliant, unique way of doing things because traditionally manufacturers just absolutely, there's no one at, at many factories and OEMs that, that won't, they won't take the homeowner's call typically, right? And uh, that's, that's, a, that's honestly uh, an excellent approach as, as I can see it to help the contractor along. Um, and you have a staff of people there that are there to help, help that out and help, help ease the, um, the nuisance pain, if you will, or, or, or hesitancy. So that's great. That's great. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, what, um, so what you gave us a little, a little teaser, what else is in the future of, uh, for Haven? What's what, what else can we look forward to? Would you say coming up or is something that you can, that you can are comfortable talking about, uh, yeah, is there, um, new products, uh, or, uh, you know, I know you're adding people, so that's, that's brilliant. Um, mm-hmm. and, um, and the staff to support the, uh, support what you, all your, all your initiatives and efforts and, 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 and helping contractors along. That's great. And homeowners as well. What else can we look forward to? Yeah. So as a, um, as a small manufacturer that we're, we're kind of trying to focus a little bit less on new hardware and focus a bit more on uh, software value. Um, because we're, the data that we're getting allows us to, I guess, make some inferences and make some calculations that we think would be super, super valuable. So I guess preventative maintenance is going to be one Mm -hmm. of those things that we'll be working on in the near future here and other insights. So being able to, you know, if, if the system, if you, if, if your HVAC system isn't turning on when it's supposed to be, maybe we'd be able to Mm -hmm. deliver that type of insight. Um, the, uh, being able to like examine that over time, if your airflow degrades, uh, you know, in a, in a certain pattern, it might 
uh, indicate that there's something wrong with a fan motor or maybe that the blower, like the squirrel cage needs to be cleaned. So like, that's going to be the next, like, uh, the almost like feature. predictive maintenance, right? It's like pred- yeah. I'm on the verge of predictive yeah, yeah, yeah. maintenance. That's awesome. But see, I, that's why I asked the question. I wanted to geek out just a little bit here. So, yeah. So that's, that's kind of like what our team is going to be diving into because yeah. the, um, like we've spent, it has been a crazy journey to try to, um, you know, create this hardware from scratch because like we, like our team does the, like the hardware design, uh, we work with our local manufacturer in like we, we manufacture in Canada. We don't manufacture overseas because our, we have such high quality control in our product. We even calibrate each monitor before it leaves our office to be shipped to our distributors because we want to make sure that it's, it's, that they're going to last years with their, the quality of measurements that they have. The, um, but then we also do our firmware, we do our app development and we do our, uh, web portal development. Everything is all done in-house. And, uh, so now, now that we're kind of finishing up a lot of our work, so the hardware was the foundation, ensuring that everything is properly connected to the cloud and it's all stable and that the firmware, uh, you know, is super robust. The kind of the next stages were kind of, you know, refining the software interfaces that the homeowner and the professional are working on. And now it's, it's, like I said, examining those opportunities in interpreting and processing the data. That's excellent. That's excellent. So, all right. So where, uh, it's been an excellent conversation. Where can we tell folks to go to for more information? If they're sitting at their web browser right now, where do we want them to go? Yeah. So anybody could just go to haveniq.com. Uh, if you want to, if you're a pro and you just want to dive right in, you go to pro.haveniq.com. Um, but you can just search for Haven IQ on social media, YouTube, whatever it, it, you'll find us, you'll find my blue hair there. Um, and <laughs> with, uh, if you're a distributor or sorry, a, a contractor that's looking to buy one of these, there's a couple places, but like Goodman is, uh, they carry it across, uh, kind of the continent. Uh, there's a couple other, uh, distributors that carry it as well. If you, if you have a supply shop that uh, you prefer. Um, ask them for Haven because that really helps us out as a small manufacturer is to get into more distributors. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, there's always true tech tools. If you don't have a distributor around you that uh, you can get it fast enough from. Uh, but uh, yeah. And then if you're a homeowner, you talk to your contractor, that contractor that, you know, that has, you know, done you uh, well in the past to be able to maintain your HVAC system, let them know that you want Haven IAQ. Excellent. Thank you, Ben. And I appreciate you being here and spending some time with us. Any final thoughts at all? Did I miss anything that you, uh, you, you cover, uh, I, I, the excellent back and forth. I loved it. Um, oh right yeah. The, so the, I'll just kind of leave you with the kind of like, we just went through a, a, a brand enhancement exercise and okay. it kind of the, <laughs> I, I, I am a bit of a, I call myself a bit of a brand barbarian, uh, because I'm, I'm not a, I'm not like I, I come from a like I come from the telecommunications trade myself, um, so I, I am not always up in the clouds of being able to like um, think about our you know a brand in the brand essence. Um, but but actually, I'm really happy with what we've kind of turned what we're transforming into, which is like we we really focus on trying to do it better because we know that all the homeowners and the techs that are out there, they're all, everybody is trying to do their best. Everybody is, has their best intentions uh, in some Mm -hmm. form or another to try to solve problems. And we believe that with our, like it's our, as a part of our mission, we want to work with everybody in our ecosystem to just to do it better, to, to be able to like use better data, to use better techniques in solving problems and that transitions into our new tagline, which is go beyond comfort. And that's, that. that's what we want. That's how we want you to think about your HVAC system and, and your home is that you, you, you have to go beyond comfort to understand that, uh, you, you know, air quality and health are some of those things that you should be thinking of. And most homeowners already are like it's the, the, the COVID sort of uh, crisis has helped transform some of our minds, but I think that we can continue to do better. In, in solving these problems with better technology, better data, and better relationships. Uh, well said. I love it, Ben. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to let you go enjoy that temperate Vancouver weather that we all envy uh, you getting. And <laughs> yes, well, it's actually just- sunny today. It's usually <laughs> like, it's, it's hit or miss, man. We get a lot of rain. It gets a little dreary, but very sunny day today. Enjoy. Well, go enjoy, Ben. Thanks so much. Thanks, Rob. Great talking. Thank <laughs> you.